Engineering at Vans Aircraft performed and successfully completed all of the rigorous testing of the fuel tank and landing gear on the RV-12 IS that were required by the ASTM standards for light sport airplanes. However, one final test would be performed, a severe test not required by the ASTM standards that came to be called the gear tear-off test. It was a test simulating at gross weight and full fuel an impact of the main gear with an immovable object such as a berm or a curb. The gear would fail, but would the failure deform the gear support structure to the point that the fuel tank would be affected? With this in mind, the gear support structure was designed to take a greater load than the gear attachment bolts. In other words, the attachment bolts could withstand all of the necessary landing and taxi loads, but would fail before the surrounding support structure could deform under a high rearward impact load. To accomplish the test, instead of having a moving fuselage and then suddenly stopping the gear legs, the fuselage would be secured and remain stationary while the gear legs were pulled rearward. In preparation for the test, lead shot bags representing the fuel weight were stacked on top of the fuel tank and the fuselage was loaded to gross weight. To simulate the 9G inertia load caused by the sudden deceleration of the fuel and the tank, straps were attached to the front of the tank and pulled with a force of over a thousand pounds. Cables were attached to the bottom of the gear legs with the other ends connected to a forklift. When the forklift was accelerated and the slack in the cables taken up, The test results were as predicted. As the forklift snatched the gear legs rearward, the forward bolts that secured the gear legs to the fuselage failed. This released the gear legs, preventing deformation of the structure surrounding the fuel tank. <laughs>